First on five this hour, changes are coming to NAS Pensacola a month after three servicemen were killed on base. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper is expected to talk about those changes when he visits the base today. News 5's Brian Clerkley is live now with more on what Esper plans to focus on. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Bill and Jessica. Esper will also be speaking with the men and women that responded during the NAS shooting. And he's also going to be speaking about those upgrades to security and the vetting process. The updates are supposed to make the base more secure. It will include physical security at base entrances and an enhanced vetting process for people training in the U.S. from other countries. The gunman, Mohammed Al Shamrani, began training at NAS Pensacola back in 2017. Following the attack, 22 Saudi nationals were expelled from the country. Half of them were stationed here at NAS Pensacola. The base itself and the museum is still closed to the public. Three men were killed in the attack, Mohammed Haytham, Cameron Walters, and Alabama native Joshua Watson. Live here at NAS Pensacola, I'm Bryant Clerkley, WKRG News 5. Also happening today in Northwest Florida.